Hello friends, uh, in this lesson we are going to talk about uh, some important information about uh, 203 exam. The very first thing I want to make sure that we all understand is that 203 is not an easy exam. Unless you have very good experience on Azure Data Services, actually you have to learn, understand and remember a lot. So don't take uh, this as a race, take your time, learn step by step and we will achieve our goal. And the next thing where many students uh, I've seen that they're concerned is do they need to have any programming knowledge or experience? No, you do not. You do not need to know PowerShell or CLI or Python or Scala or any of these languages. Actually, the exam will be based on your knowledge about Azure. You may see some code there, but that code will be very easy enough. You know, you'll just look at that code and you will understand. Basically, their intention is to check whether you understand Azure data services concept or not. They will not check your programming knowledge or experience. Now exam duration is going to be 180 minutes. You are going to get few extra minutes like 20 extra minutes to read instructions and you know do other formality. But for the exam itself, you'll get around 180 minutes and you're going to see around 50, 55 question, not less than 40 and not greater than 60. Now another important thing is that to clear this exam, you need 700 points. Now these are points, not 70% where many students are confused. 700 points means that all questions are not of the same weightage. So for example, there may be a case study or some difficult question which may weightage like say 50 points. Other may be true or false question may, you know, weightage 10 points. So if you clear this question, you are going to get 50 points. And to clear this question, you will get just 10 points. So it's not like 70% answers you have to correct. You have to get total 700 questions. And another important point is partially correct answer also have points. So if multiple, you know, select answer, if you, there are three right answers, but you make only two right answers, you'll get some points for these two, right? And of course, there is no negative marking. So you have to answer all the questions. Now, what are different types of question? Multiple choice question. That means out of many options, only one answer is correct. Multiple select question, that means more than one answer is correct and you have to select all of them. Multiple select and arrange them in the right sequence. So that means you don't have to just uh, figure out the right choices, but you also have to arrange them in the right order. So for example, let's say choices are A, B, C, D. Now you have to figure out, uh, you know, B and then A and then D, you know. So you have to make the right sequence. Mostly in uh, poly-based kind of questions, uh, we see these types of uh, questions and we'll discuss this during the course. And then you have the drop down, you have the true false, and then you have the case study. That means you'll have a kind of quite a big case study of a couple of paragraphs. They'll give you the situation. You have to understand that. And they will ask a few questions based on that case study that according to situation given in that case study, you have to answer those questions. And there's another point where many students uh, you know, are concerned or they ask that there are no labs in this exam. So there are no question like where you have to log in into the console or the portal and you have to do particular steps. There, there are no lab in this exam. All right. So I hope that uh, this video answered uh, some of your questions uh, related to 203 exam. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.